Hello, Andy. This is Colin. I want to be able to get in tonight. I'm sweating like a pig. 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 Hi, David here of One Up Gaming, episode 308 of the One Up Gaming podcast. Um, it's going to be a quick, quick episode this time, so please visit the website oneupgaming.co.uk. Uh, we are sponsored by Games Inspired Music, so please just Google Games Inspired Music or go on Spotify or Amazon Music, buy the album. All the proceeds will go to the Child's Play Charity. Um, quick update of my health shenanigans. It looks as though, I mean, I think the last sort of thing I said, I called the doctors up and they said that all the tests came back normal and everything's fine and all rosy and everything. And then three, four days after that, I actually got a phone call from the doctor saying that they're still worried about the results and they're still passing me over to a specialist in Newcastle and they're putting me on like iron tablets and they're going to give me a B12 injection and then they're going to do more tests in six months time and see how things go. Um, so that's where I am at the minute. Um, that was on Friday last week when I got a phone call. I went into the pharmacy on the Friday evening to pick up the uh, iron tablets. And they basically sort of said, we don't have any in, it'll be in on Monday. So I waited until Monday afternoon. I went back in Monday afternoon and the guy said, I can see that they have arrived, but we haven't found them yet. We will send a text message out once it's ready. So I waited another day and then I went back on the Wednesday evening after work and picked him up. So they never sent a text message out, but it's almost waiting a week every single time you have to go see him. Fun times. I love all this stuff. It's really fun. Um, so I will just sort of go through a couple of the games that I played this week. Uh, first up, House Flipper. Now, another day, another house. what can you say about this House Flipper? It's a bad game, but the concept I love. Gonna need some work. It's going in, cleaning everything up by just clicking buttons and spraying things and doing all that. And then it's doing it all up and getting... Like, Changing the colour, changing the style of the whole place and selling selling the thing. Trying to make money as house flipper. Um, so technically speaking, the game's not great, but I loved it. It's a really good little chill out game. Just sit there and sat. Like it's like all the floors dirty, so you have to just have a little sweeping brush. And you've got to like hold the air button and go like... Ee, 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 ee. It's really fun. It's a really good little chill out game. I, I recommend it. All in a day's work. Tomorrow we're back at it again. And next up, Resident Evil 3 Raccoon City. Now this is the remake. Um what can I say? I didn't like this as much as the Resident Evil 2 remake for the simple reason I still think that these remakes, although they look stunning, they don't control as well as a lot of the third person sort of action horror sort of games do, like the Dead Space and all those sort of games where the shooting and the movements are a lot better. Whereas even with these remakes, the aiming's not very good, the shooting's not very good. And when you add in more action elements, they really show the deficiencies of the engine or how the game's been developed and made. So I'd recommend Resident Evil 2 Remake as a better overall game than the Resident Evil 3. Although the both still look stunning, they both play well. Uh, next up, 
I had a quick go at the Resident Evil 4. And again, it doesn't look that bad. It's nowhere near as good as the, the remakes, but it's still not a bad little game. I felt as though the game moved at a better pace than the Resident Evil remake remakes. And Resident Evil 4 will always be that sort of classic game in the Resident Evil franchise. So next up, Resident Evil 6. Now I don't know why all that's there and Resident Evil 5's not, but anyway, we'll get back to that one probably next week. Resident Evil 6, now this is when Capcom were basically saying people just want more. So they kept the concept of the Resident Evil 5 where you and a teammate uh, in the game, in the game world playing the game. And they've done uh, Leon Kennedy. Uh, there's three different stories with each story's got two different main characters. And one of them's more horror, one of them's more action, and one's more like the Resident Evil 4 sort of thing. So I do appreciate how they've done the game and how it runs together. But it's that halfway house of not as good for one and not as good for the other so it might look all right but the gameplay is not there the controls are not there and the story if i'm being honest isn't really there either um but i will say it's a fun little game and if you get it for i think i've paid like a fiver for it if you pay it like that kind of money it's not a bad little game i can't keep running away to face the truth, accept responsibility. <laughs> HQ to Alpha Team, no change to your mission. Suppress the bioterror outbreak while proceeding to Point Ace of Spades. Alpha to HQ, this is worse than we thought. We need backup. It's regenerating. All right, first things first. Only 200,000 up front. Another 200 when this is over. Oh, with BOWs? Those are extra. Much better off as a mercenary. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. The world needs you. No, no, not me. Just my blood. Well, the world can have it. As long as someone ponies up the dough. After what she's done to us, how many of our men are dead because of that bitch? I'm right there with you, Captain. But your personal vendetta isn't going to get us anywhere. So, next up, I had a quick go at the Evercade Versus and those videos uh, on the YouTube channel now. And I can't remember what the games I played. I think they were racing games I played this week. And that's quite fun. I love a, a good racing game. Uh, Ridge Racer 6, 
I completed another five or six, maybe seven levels of the game. I don't know how many there is in total. Hundreds, hundreds of games, levels, races. Um, but I still love Ridge Racer 6. It still looks stunningly gorgeous. And the Worst Games Ever series, number eight, is Fast and Furious Crossroads. I'll leave this trailer on now because it is a bad game. I'm going to split. It's the only way to keep you both safe. I think I know someone who can help. Hustle never stops, I got no brakes. You ready to ride? We want revenge. We want justice. We're gonna jump onto a moving train? I got you! Jump! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! When in doubt, do what I do. I've seen what you do. That's why I'm kind of terrified. And I don't need a finish line, I'm in my own lane. Do you want to stay amateurs? Or take this to the next level? So that is that. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll have a quick break now and come back with the news. Um, so yeah, thank you. Um, back in 10 seconds, I guess, if you're watching this. So yeah. Hello and welcome back to the One Up Game Podcast 308. Now, for some reason, my phone didn't record the audio, so I've just scrapped everything. I'm just going to say and start with the news. So, Grand Theft Auto publisher, they've announced that employees affected by the Roe vs. Wade sort of stuff, they're standing by their colleagues and supporting them, which is really good. It's really nice of them. It's like it's weird because over in the UK we don't really have bar barbaric barbaric sort of like laws and views and well I guess we do we do there's a lot of crap that's horrible over here but it's I don't know I don't know it, it's weird it really is we need to get things sorted but anyway we'll carry on so the next bit of news that I've got is the Xbox owners will finally be able to connect to Discord um, voice through the Xbox itself. Um, so basically on Series X, Series S and Xbox One, there'll be a, an actual app or whatever where you'll be able to do Discord voice chats right from the, the Xbox. Whereas at the moment, I think you had to use your mobile phone or use a PC and connect it while you're playing on your Xbox and things like that. So it will be better. It will be nice. So I don't know why it's taken so long. Because it's been a bloody long time. For all this sort of stuff. Oh god. Yawning now. Absolutely knackered. So the next bit of news that we have is the Netflix's planned ad tier might not include every Netflix show. So basically Netflix have said that they're going to do a cheaper subscription model, uh, but it will include adverts. But they've also said that while there are a vast majority of what people watch on Netflix will be included, there are some things that... Uh, won't be included but that's a conversation with the studios and with things moving forward um so we'll see how that sort of goes i mean like 
in the UK, I really, really think we should be abolishing this BBC sort of tax or whatever you want to call it, the TV license. It's just stupid. It's like, put the BBC behind an app. If you want to watch it, you pay for the app. Um, next up, uh, Twitter's lawsuit against Elon Musk will start in October. So basically, uh, Twitter got offended by Elon Musk when Elon Musk went to buy Twitter in April for $44 billion, which they accepted that same month. Although then it went through a bit of he say, she say, where Elon Musk claimed that Twitter had way too many bots and he basically took away his offer to buy Twitter. And then Twitter is saying, you can't say things like that. That's blas blasphemy. It's, it's not good. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. I think it's quite funny at the minute. We'll see what happens. So... Uh, Elon Musk wanted the trial before February 2023. Um, so the next bit of news is Netflix has lost over... Well, almost 1 million subscribers, was it I said? Yeah, lost nearly 1 million subscribers. Um... Over 200,000 subscribers lost between January and March. And then they've said between April and June, it's lost a whopping 1 million subscribers. Which is... It's, it's, that 1 million sounds a hell of a lot, but when you've got 220 million subscribers, it's not massive, really. It, it's bloody massive. But the grand scheme of things... It's people getting bored, people using, you know, the, the economy, the global economy, um, everything going up, everything like that. So hopefully they'll do get better options and get things started. So next up, John Romero, the co-creator of Doom, is making a new first-person shooter. Um, Doom creator John Romero and his studio Romero Games are working on a brand new first person shooter that will utilise Unreal Engine 5. And it's reportedly going to be with a major publisher. So <sighs> hopefully we'll get some more news on this soon and it will be a nice, nice little game. Um, looking at the background and the images, I'd have a guess at dark, gothic, hell, skip sort of stuff. But we'll see. We will see. We'll see what happens. So, what have we got next? Next up, uh, the Lego... Have announced the Atari 2600 uh, Lego set, and as you can see in the picture, it looks rather snazzy. Um, it looks like you get a, a joystick, the console, a few cartridges, and a couple of little extras. It's going to retail at $240, and it'll be on the Lego store on August the 1st, and there's no pre orders. So, I think it looks cool, but for I think things like these, they, they need to be like $50. $240 is way too much for this sort of thing. But, hey, right, leave comments. What do you think? Did you like the Nintendo machine that you did? But we'll, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. And I believe that'll be the news for this week. Uh, next up will be the top 40. Um, is it going to be? Yep. So, Riders Republic, Luigi's Mansion 3, Lego Marvel Superheroes, Minecraft Dungeons, SpongeBob SquarePants, Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. Rehydrated? Yeah. 35, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, Elden Ring, Call of Duty Vanguard, Disney Classic Games, Jungle Book, Aladdin, and The Lion King. 
Number 30, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Marvel's Avengers, Kelowna Fantasy Re- Revive Series. Super Mario Odyssey, Grand Theft Auto, The Trilogy, The Definitive Edition. 25, Ring for Adventure. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, WWE 2K22. Lego Jurassic World, Lego Harry Potter Collection, number 20, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Just Dance 2022, Mario Party Superstars, Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury, The Quarry, number 15, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Halo Infinite, Grand Theft Auto 5, Mario Strikers Battle League Football, Assassin's Creed Van Halle, Valhalla, I always say Valhalla. Uh, number 10, Minecraft. Number 9, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Number 8, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 7, Horizon Forbidden West. Number 6, Far Cry 6. Number 5, FIFA 22. Number 4, Nintendo Switch Sports. Number 3, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number 2, F122. Number 1, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And that is thank you so much to Games Press. And that is with the GFK Entertainment Software Chart, all formats. So that is that. So thank you for everyone. It's been David One Up Gaming, episode 208. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. And we will sort of say goodbye. Please subscribe to our podcast. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and all that. It's going to be a very quick ending. I don't know how long it's left. So thank you all. Hope you have a good week and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Because you at the club and proving it And so they choosing it Too late cause now they using it Can't wait from how you doing it I know that they pursuing it You will kindly tell them Now my baby's here to watch me go And for him I put on a show You just blessed to be here so My baby goes, goes on My body rolls on Say to her, yeah, I'm feeling kind of slick. I'm loving how I swim in it. No, I'm not taming her. The only one engraving it. It's signing still right from her lips. You need to know that she's my miss. Treat her like a treasure, though. I never want to let her go. I keep her right in front of me. My heart, she will forever be. I do this so she'll never see. Life with me, no misery. You deserve the world, my queen. Yeah, I'm back down on one knee. A boy to a man. You have seen, no matter who long is you and me. I'm coming for you, baby. So we can stay happy. I'm trying to work so hard for you and me. Baby, go now. Go, go, baby, go. 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 Go, for me. Go, for me. Go, for me. So bad, so she can get it so bad so that she loves me no damn. I'ma hug it so sad. sad. You look-
looking so mad Oh, you didn't know that Next time you should check the ring I know that one's a throwback I know you see her flashing it Especially when she they gets it low I'm rubbing on and grabbing it I tell my girl, go ahead and go Thank you. We're trying to get everybody on to 